Hello, friends. Um, welcome back to another Artist Diaries. It has been about a week and a half since I last filmed. Um, it is Tuesday, the day, the Tuesday before I put up this video. We are doing a very short little Artist Diaries. Um, I am going to be working on making some clay stuff for um, a little mini clay shop drop. Um, my last shop drop before I go off on vacation for a very long time. We're going on vacation in March for like the whole month. I'm very thrilled. Um, but it also means that I have been having a very stressful past few days, weeks, <laughs> you know? So, yeah, I thought I would give you a little update on what's been going on in my life. Um, I don't know if I've talked about this. Probably have. But I have a lot of anxiety. And um, I thought most of my depression was gone after college. But it's been kind of... It's been kind of bad lately. So uh, last week has been was really, really rough for me. I was trying to be productive and get work done. But also, it was very hard to do anything. Um, we did do some stuff, but I had to take a whole day off in the middle of the week um, because all I did was like cry. <laughs> so yeah, uh, uh, so now we have to catch up, which is fine. Um, but yeah, yeah, we're, we're trying to do work. Basically, I am tr currently trying to do like a lot of Patreon stuff so that I don't have to take a month off of Patreon in March. Um, so I'm kind of, I'm basically doing two months worth of Patreon in like three weeks. Um, so that's been going all right. And then I had a couple commissions that I was working on. My commissions are technically not open, but I had some commissions because I don't know how to say no. And I just finished the last commission. As you saw, I was commissioned to make these tiny little clay babies. There's a little bunny and a little wolfie, and I love this wolf so much. I am obsessed with him. I think he is the cutest thing under the sun. Um, it's a little wolf. His shaping was actually really hard. It was really hard to get like the right shape around the eye for the wolf, but I think he is perfect. He's beautiful. Um, and there's also a little bunny, which I also think is really cute, but the bunny's a lot easier to make <laughs> because there's only one color. Um, but the little face is harder on the, on the bunny because of the little, the little W mouth, you know? Anyway, I'm so proud of these little babies. I need to pack them up and send them out, but I don't have any bubble wrap because I ran out of my recycled bubble wrap. So I might have to go to UPS or something and see if they have bubble wrap that I can steal slash buy. Um, so yeah. Uh, so what other things I've been up to? I've been working on a knitting project. Hold on. Okay, I've been working on two projects. I started this cardigan, which I can put on, um, but this is the body part of the cardigan. It's the Aosta, Aosta, Aosta cardigan on Ravelry, and it's really cute. It's a little cropped cardigan like this. I still need to do the sleeves and the button band, but it worked up pretty quickly, um, considering I started it like two, three weeks ago, it worked up pretty quickly. Um, and because I got kind of bored in the middle of doing the body, because that's kind of where I usually get bored, I uh, took a break and made this scarf, this crochet scarf that's really squishy and soft. I really like it. This one was the, I think the Wanderlust pattern that I found on Pinterest. It was free. Um, I think it's really cute. I haven't sewn in the ends yet. I'm gonna add a little fringe I have a little bit of extra yarn so I can add a little like fringe on it. I'm very excited about it. Also, I'm gonna, I'm sweating. <laughs> it's been so cold in New York and now it's warm again. 
and because my apartment is the way it is when it's cold it is freezing and i was like wrapped up in a blanket all week last week and now i am sweating <laughs> so it's it's a struggle living here in new york <laughs> um yeah so that's basically what i've been doing outside of work time I've been not very good about my work hours lately. I've been working last week, even through my bad days. I still worked almost 45 hours last week, and I think this week is going to end up being similar because yesterday I worked like 10 hours. So, yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, today is, should be pretty chill. We're doing um, a clay day. I spent some time yesterday, mixed a bunch of clay. I'm gonna hold this close again. I spent some time yesterday, mixed up a bunch of clay. So we are gonna work on making some clay designs. I think I'm gonna make each design that I wanna make first and then just copy them, like make a bunch of each. And I wanna make enough so I can make like at least two pairs of earrings and um, some magnets. Um, and charms of each one, I think. So I, my goal is today we're going to do all the flat stuff. Um, and then tomorrow I want to do some like little mini charms like these ones, um, like the one that I made for the commission, um, but probably not a wolfie. And I really want to try making keycaps. So if, if y'all have probably seen, but I have this really cute, ah, I have this really cute keyboard that's connected. <laughs> to my computer um but it is the ducky one two sf keyboard um with the cotton candy keycaps i bought the the keycaps separately um it didn't come with the keyboard so i have a bunch of keycaps a bunch of extra keycaps i have a whole set of keycaps that came with the keyboard um and i think um these happen to be the kind that you can bake which seems kind of scary because I don't know how I feel about baking plastic, you know, but I guess like polymer clay is also plastic and I bake it. So whatever. But this is apparently, there's apparently a type of keycap that you can get. That's like PBT keycaps. I don't know what PBT stands for, um, but you can bake them and make keycaps with them. So I was thinking I could try out making a keycap, which could be cute. So I have, I have these, I also don't know if all of these pieces, all of these keycaps are the same because on the cotton candy keycaps, the profiles are, are printed. They're like a little bit different per like where it's located on the keyboard. Does that make sense? So I don't actually know if like these are the same. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. See the S. You can't see, but the S is slightly shorter than the W, so I don't know which ones I should actually turn. I guess the escape key would be good. The escape key and maybe like the side keys, the delete page up, page down key, page down key. But I would really like to try making keycaps. And if it works out, I can make, I can buy a bunch of um, keycaps that aren't specifically cut for the letter. Um, cut printed these are printed right yeah they should these are probably 3d printed anyway my point is i would like to try making keycaps so so i have rambled for a while um i am going to put these <laughs> over here i don't want to send them out they're so cute my little wolfie and my little <laughs> my little bunny um i'm gonna work on making um i'm gonna work hello Hello, brain. I'm going to work on making some clay stuff, and then I'll bring you back to show you all the different designs I come up with, and then we'll just, we'll just turn them out. Is that the only thing I have to do today? I also need to, need to format my, I also need to format my digital goodie. You can tell that I'm tired by the way I'm talking, because my brain is not working. Um, even when I try to sleep, I'm still tired. That's fine. All right, let's let's get to work. <laughs>
<clears throat> Hello, friends. Happy Wednesday. Um, I sneezed earlier, and now I can't stop coughing. I don't know what's going on with me, um, but I feel like I'm dying, so <laughs> that's how I've been. Um, I wanted to show you my clay stuff. <coughs> I'm coughing a lot. I'm really sorry. I wanted to show you my clay stuff. Um, I was making clay yesterday from around 9.30 to around, probably around 8.30 yesterday. I took like a half hour break for lunch. Um, so I, yeah, uh, it got to a point where I was like so in the zone and then I stopped working and then I got up to get dinner because Alan was really nice and he made dinner, <coughs> even though I think it was my turn to cook. <coughs> Help. <coughs> it was my turn to cook. Um, but he made dinner and um, I couldn't stop shaking because I think I overdid it. I think I overworked myself, help. Um, and I was like shaking, I was so cold, and it was just it was just a time, all right? It was a little bit of a struggle. But I wanna show you what I made, because I made a bunch of little things that I thought was cute. So first off, I made a bunch more bookcases. All of these need to be sanded, once again. But I made a bunch more bookcases, which I think are so cute. Um, I am gonna turn, I think, one pair into earrings. I made five of them, six of them. I can count. I made six. <coughs> I'm struggling. I made six of them, and I think they're really cute. And I think I'm going to make one pair into earrings and the rest into pins and magnets and charms. Um, yeah. And then I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. Like, they're supposed to be kind of sac Sakura, cherry blossom inspired. Um, little ones I made eight of these seven of these I made seven of these <laughs> I'm really good at counting um and I think I'm gonna make two pairs of them into earrings and the rest into magnets and pins and charms yeah um so these and then I made um another arch these are koi fish I have really been enjoying making these I really like making the little koi fish I think they're really cute but um i made these there are only five of these so i think i'm gonna make one pair into earrings and the rest into charms um i'm still deciding which one of these i want to keep <laughs> because i keep selling all the stuff that i make and i would like to keep some of these they're really cute <laughs> and then i made some stamps i made these um forget me not flower stamps which i think are so pretty uh so i made one two three four five of these <clears throat> Again, very cute. One pair of earrings, and then the rest into charms, magnets, and uh, pins, I think. I think I'm going to do one each. Yeah, one charm, one pin, one magnet. Is that weird? Will people buy it that way? I don't know. Anyway, I think these are cute. And then I made these five. Again, I made five of these little rose <coughs> stamps that I think are so cute and perfect for, like, Valentine's Day. Um, so yeah, I made all of these and I need to sand them and then today I want to work on making some charms like little figurines like I talked about last, um, uh, yesterday. Uh, also I made myself, you know how I, I showed you guys? I didn't pack these up, okay? Sue me. I worked too much yesterday. Um, <clears throat> and you know how I made these little charms <laughs> for a commission? I really like the wolf because I have a stuffed wolfie like I have a plushie not a not a stuffed real wolf that would be weird I have um a plushie of a wolf that I've had since high school and I am very much not in high school anymore I'm very old um <clears throat> and it looks just like this because of course I made when they said when the commission person asked me for a wolf charm of course I made it like my wolf plushie you know so <laughs> So I made myself a matching one. Okay, so there's, mine's a little fatter, but it's fine. Um, I really like him. <clears throat> and I'm gonna put him on my traveler's notebook because he's so cute. Um, yeah, I love him a lot. I think he's really cute. I can't make these to sell because each one of these takes like an hour. Making the shape around the wolfy like face to make it like this curve thing is a freaking pain. 
So I'm not gonna sell these. These take so long. I would have to sell them for so much, like $30 or something each. Honestly, I undercharged when I made the commission because I didn't realize how, how much they would take. But yeah, I really love him. He's very cute. I'm gonna make bunnies though. <clears throat> I'm dying! Okay, I need to stream because it's Wednesday and I canceled my Monday stream, but I'm so tired. <laughs> and I keep coughing. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I might just cancel stream again, even though if it makes me even if it makes me feel really guilty. God. I have so much to do. I'm so tired, you guys. Alright. Yeah, I think. You know what? I think I'm gonna cancel stream. <laughs> I really like streaming, but I really don't feel up for it right now. <laughs> Maybe I'll just stream on Friday like I normally do. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I feel really bad. It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna <laughs> blow my nose again and hope I stop coughing. And then I'm gonna sand these. I need to format my digital goodie. I should probably work on the Wednesday, on the Wednesday, on the March digital goodie. <sighs> Let's format the digital goodie. And then I'll do more clay stuff. And then tonight I'm getting hot pot with Marianne. So you guys can come with me to the city. And it'll be fun. And it'll be a nice break. Yeah, that's... That's that. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. Maybe you can feel the pressure that I've been living on I can say that it's been on my mind But I'm moving along So I'm going to be so good
Hello friends, happy Thursday. I need to go and edit this video. My hair is doing something wild. Um, but I have finished assembling all of the earrings. They look so cute. And I have this small assortment of little clay charms. I think they're so stinking cute. All right, so we have um, little blue Totoro's. <laughs> We have little blue Totoro's. And then we have one little gray one because I ran out of the blue, but I had, I mixed some gray. Um, so we have one little gray Totoro, a little tiny friend. And then we have three little bunnies. Oh, I just smashed the table. It's fine. Okay, hold on. Three little bunnies. Honestly, I think the bunnies are so cute, but they are a massive pain trying to get the white clay to be like clean um basically i was just cleaning their little faces over and over and i, I they're still lit in them so yeah i think i'm gonna have to discount these i'll probably put charge 10 for them even though they're like kind of more work than just 10 bucks but um, because there's lint in them, I feel I would feel bad charging like more than that. But yeah, they're really cute. And then we have three little bees. Bees are ten because they're just really easy to make. So I have three tiny little bees. I think they're hacking cute. Look at these! <laughs> They've got little heart-shaped wings and little round chubby bodies. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna charge fifteen for the Totoros and then ten for the bunnies and ten for the bees and then the um the slab stuff will be like the normal pricing like 20 20 ish per single thing and then like 40 ish for the earrings i'm not quite sure we'll figure it out um yeah but i had a pretty good time making all this stuff i really enjoy making the tiny little friends oh i also made i forgot to show you but i made myself a, a little wolf because I loved the commission that I made so much that I wanted to make one for myself. And then I made Alan a matching red panda. Because Alan loves red pandas. So we have a wolfie and a red panda. Just like our plushies. <laughs> I think they're really cute. Um, yeah, so all I'm going to do today is work on the listings, editing this video, and hopefully getting head on some Patreon stuff. Um, I can't remember... I did. I talked about my digital goodie. This is how they turned out. The February one, the mail time one. These are really cute. So if you are a patron, um, I am going to be updating the Patreon secret shop. So you will be able to get all of the goodies from last year and you will be able to order um, physical stickers of the digital goodies from this year. So this sticker sheet and this sticker sheet which i've already used but yeah these two sticker sheets you'll be able to get on the secret shop so if you want if you're not a patron and you want these you just need you you get access to the secret shop for just a dollar so yeah anyway i think that's all i have to say please check out the shop the the clay stuff usually goes pretty quickly and i made as much as i could within a day to the point of destroying my back a little bit but um there still isn't that much, so hopefully you'll be able to get your hands on it. I'm not sure. Um, patrons get early access, but that'll have already passed by the time this video goes out. And yeah, uh, my keycap that I tested out making is out of the oven, and I will have a clip of me tap, tap, tapping <laughs> in a second once it's cool. Um, but yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being part of my cozy little space on the internet. Um, I am going to be filming one more video to go out this month before I go off on vacation. So you can look forward to that. And there will also be exclusive videos that I need to pre-film and work on. Um, on um, What's it called? On Patreon. Yeah, so if you like more videos, you can sign up uh, on Patreon and get access to exclusive videos. There's a huge backlog too. So yeah, anyway, I had a good time making these and I hope this was a fun artist diary video. I don't know. Yeah. All right. I am gonna go now. Bye everyone. <laughs>